Hey everybody, how is it going? It's the Crystal Flaffy, and welcome to the first of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Showdown Live sessions. Now, we did a lot of Showdown Live sessions back in Oras. Um, didn't do as much as I wanted to, but we still did a quite we did quite a bit. And now, I finally got myself adjusted to the well, at least somewhat adjusted to the Sun and Moon changes or and additions and everything. And I finally finally made a team that I enjoyed playing with finally because like typically I like to use my own teams that I make and because like I don't really like taking other teams because I I don't know I don't know why I just don't like doing it um but I finally made a team that I actually really enjoyed with Amon that I was actually very interested in using let's go over to the team real quick so I can just show you guys um, so we got, up first, we got a, uh, Flyanium Z, uh, Fly, Earthquake, Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, uh, Salamence, um, running Jolly so that we can guaranteed out speed after plus one, we can out speed pretty much the entire tier. And then we got Moxie anyway, so we don't really need to go adamant. Then we have, a uh, Magnezone, Assault Fest Magnezone to... And it's offensive as well, because to deal with just deal with steel types and mainly Celesteela, which would completely wall Salamence. Um, also Ferrothorn as well, which would somewhat wall. Like it won't take it won't appreciate an earthquake, but it'll probably it'll be able to tank a couple of them. And then we have Choice Specs, Ferramosa, Bug Buzz, Focus Blast, Ice Beam, and U-Turn, because we still gotta have that initiative. And then we have a def uh, uh, a defensive Landorus, Rocky Helmet. Intimidate, Earthquake, Stone Edge. It is our rocker with U-Turn as well, so we got some more initiative. And we also have Volt Switch on on our Magnezone, so we got some nice Volt Turn going on. And then we also have a second defensive mod, but this one is a Calm Mind, a semi-Calm Mind Sweeper in our Tapu Fini. Um, I really like Tapu Fini. I really like all the Tapus, mostly Tapu Fini and Tapu Bulu, since those are the ones I've used the most, really. But we have a odd spread um like this the defensive spread on showdown for defensive calm mind was like max but max defense but i didn't really feel like we needed it um because something that really hurts this team that i noticed from testing it out is a mega metagross we don't really have things that can switch in on it that well um so with this top of Fini set if we get its health down low enough with our other mons like such as rocky helmet on landorus um, we can just switch this in, and we're not too it KO'd by Meteor Mash, unless he, of course, gets the, unless the Metagross gets the plus one, of course. But this is just enough that no matter what, barring crits and attack raises, that Mega Metagross cannot two, two hit KO us. And then the rest I put in special attack so that we can get more damage out from our Surf and Moon Blast. If it, if the set doesn't work out, I'll just take the 52, put it back in defense and whatever. And then we have 16 speed, outspeed, other top of Phoenix, and other base 85s as well. Um, also, Showdown recommended that we put 12 EVs, but because it said we, but because it recommended 12, I wanted to put 16 just to outspeed the ones that do recommend 12, or the ones that use the recommended 12. Um, and then we have our Focus Sash uh, Cartana, which is another sweeper that we have with Swords Dance, uh, Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, and Sacred Sword. And then we're running Timid Nature, Max Speed. And max spadef because um, I wanted to. Well, we could go max HP. We can. We can do that. I guess that's really interchangeable. Max HP will help it with earthquakes and other physical attacks, but. But, like, it's. Special defense is just so low, you know? It's just so low. Uh, for now, we'll try the max spadef. We'll try that for now. But the reason we're running this with the 19 EV, uh, IVs in attack is so that we can get the most, uh, the highest attacks that possible so that our beast boost will give us speed instead of attack. We have to run Timid Nature 19 IVs or less to get a speed boost from beast boost. And we don't need to worry about attack boost because we can sword stance for those. Um, while I was testing out the team, I had this uh, Kartana go up against a Mega Charizard Y. And unfortunately for my opponent, they did miss their fire blast, I think, two times. But 
It was okay, I guess, because we are Sash, so we could have taken at least one if we didn't get burned. But um, what I did as soon as I sent it out, I started setting up Swords Dances. We got to plus four, and that was when he missed the two. Then we got to plus six, and he landed it, brought us to one. And at plus six, we Oko with Smart Trick. So um, the fact that we're running this set with Swords Dance and like all this very low attack compared to normal is okay. We still dish out a lot of damage. But anyway, enough. that's enough of the team. Let's go looking for battles. It's been a while since I've done like Showdown, like recorded Showdown, and I'm actually really happy to be doing it. Um, we're going to lead with Specs Feramosa because that is an amazing lead. Um, we can U-turn if he leads with something that we're afraid of or something that can take us out. As you see, he does have the Mega Growth, so he's definitely Mega. He doesn't have an option for a Mega with any of his other mods, so it's definitely going to be a Mega Metagross, which I do hope gets banned. I do. Honestly, I do hope Mega Metagross gets banned. But he does lead with the Tracheon. Now, we can risk the Focus Blast, but I am feeling a bit unlucky today. I did miss a uh, couple Focus... I did do uh, one or two test battles before this, and I missed all my fo Focus Blasts. I only took, like, two or three of them, but I missed them all. But we're going to do it anyway. As he is a Scarfed Terrakion, that is terrible for... Well, it's not terrible that he is a Scarfed Terrakion. It's terrible that we lost our Feramosa. But, wow. Wait, 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 wait. How much speed does a Terrakion need to outspeed Feramosa with a Choice Scarf? Like, can... Like, what's its speed set? I think it's like 108, right? Yeah, so... Yeah, with... Outspeed, yeah. Um, so my opponent could be fearing the Earthquake. He's definitely Scarfed. Definitely Scarfed. Um, so I feel like the Skarmie's gonna come in, so I'm just gonna switch out. Um, we're gonna switch out to our Magnezone, and we do get this- we do predict the switch correctly, and we can just throw off a Thunderbolt here. He's probably shed Shed Shell, so he'll be able to switch, but if not, we can take this thing out pretty easily. And seeing as he just went for rocks- Oh, and we got the pair, which is really lucky, because now we'll outspeed and not have to worry. Um... But let's see, what would he want to go into if we once we take this thing out? Uh, he could go back into Trachyon and Earthquake or the Mega Metagross. So I feel like... We're just going to Thunderbolt again. We're going to Thunderbolt again so that he thinks we're Scarfed or something. Um, don't want to show that we can switch up moves yet. Because we are Assault Vested. We're not choiced. We're Assault Vested, so... The longer that he believes that, the better. And we're just going to hard swap right here. Um, I believe we can go to Agrabah, our, our Landorus. I'm going to see what else he can throw at us. The Stone Edge would probably do quite a bit. Uh, as it doesn't do as much as I expected. So, And I'm honestly not going to go for the Stealth Rocks right here. Because he does have the, the Espeon in the back. So we're going to just go for a U-turn. We're going to go for a U-turn. If he stays in, we'll go, which he doesn't. Uh, if he did stay in, we would have went to the top of Feeny. But because he did go into the Espeon, we're going... To, oh no, Origami won't be able to... Won't be able to live the hit. I mean, not live the hit. Won't be able to outspeed. So no, we won't be going out to our Kartana. We will go out into our... Our Tapu Fini. And we're gonna... Mm, I do want to defog here. I do. I do want to defog. Yeah, let's defog. As he goes for the Z move, Shattered Psyche does a hell of a lot of damage. But as you see, we do, li we do live it. Um, I don't care if the thing was bounced back or whatever. All I wanted was to get rid of the rocks. I didn't care about the evasion drop. But he did reveal his Zemu, so at least we know that the rest of his team does not have one. So we don't have to worry about any of that. Now, do we reveal that we are not scarfed on our... on our Magnezone? Well, what can we keep the Magnez Magnezone around for? The Magnezone will be really, really good for the Tapu... the Tapu... Coco. Tapu Coco, that's what it's called. And if we do outspeed the Volcanian, Volcanian, it'd be good there, but we don't have any speed of investment, um, I believe. Yeah, we got eight in speed. Let's see how much speed Volcanian has. All right. So let's say it's uninvested as well. It does outspeed, so... It does outspeed, so we... That sucks. But we are going to lose our Tapu... Tapu Fini here if we don't do something about it, which I do want to do something about it, because this will be really good for the, the Volcanian, unless it's running Bloom Doom. We know it can't use Bloom Doom, because 
just use a Z move. So we're gonna go out into our Magna Zone. We can take any hit, even a crit. And we're just gonna Volt Switch here, which would kill the, the Espeon. As he goes for the hidden power, in, hidden power Fire, I cannot speak today, but our Assault Vest is gonna let us eat that up. As I'm gonna go back out into Aerial so we can get the Leftovers Recovery, the, the little bit, you know? The little bit, but the, the Tapu, Tapu Coco comes out. And I feel like he's gonna just go for a U-turn um, did he go for a U-turn for his one, turn one? I don't remember. Oh, he, he hasn't sent out his top of Coco yet. Okay. Okay. So, we don't know if he's running the U-turn. Or the Bolt Switch. He's most likely running both, actually, now that I think about it. But if he is, our Agrabah can take the U-turn. As he goes with the Dazzling Gleam, that does a lot more than I'd hoped. It does. Let's go out into our Magna Zone now. We'll keep, we'll keep our Landers around for Intimidate. Um, I don't think that was the greatest play that we could have made. I don't. As the electric ter terrain is up, so a Thunderbolt still hurt if he switches out. As he most likely will. Let's go for the Flash Cannon. We're going to eat the Dazzling Gleam, hopefully take out this top of Coco, which we don't. But we do get a Spadef Drop. And afterwards, our... Something can come in and take him out. I'm pretty sure our our Salamence can take any hit this thing wants to send us. Um, we can calc it. We can calc it. Do I want to keep this thing around, though, and sack Agrabah? No, we want Intimidate from Agrabah. We do. So let's just go for the Flash Cannon and sack our Magnezone. It would have been good if we could get a Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt off on the Volcanion, but it's okay. It's okay. And he hasn't revealed his item, so I believe he's... Specs. I'm pretty sure he's Specs. It's gotta be Specs, right? Um, or Expert Belt. Let's see. Uh, Tapu Coco. Offensive Pivot. He's only revealed Dazzling Gleam. So let's show Dazzling Gleam. And let's go Magnezone. We're not Choice Specs. We are Assault Vest. Oops. Nope, shit, we're not frozen. Healthy. A. Assault Vest. And we got max HP, almost, I think. So. Dazzling Gleam, 14 to 16. As he went, like, 19, so he's probably modest. Which is 16 to 18.9. Which, yeah, that can be 19. Okay, yeah, so he's definitely got to be choice specs. He's definitely got to be choice specs, so... Let's see, can we set up... Can we set up the... Like, he's going to outspeed us for sure. He's going to outspeed us for sure. But we'll outspeed his entire team afterwards. Can we take two? Can we take two? Let's see. Cartana. So let's go with this. Nope, we're 0, 19, 252. Timid. Okay. Dazzling Gleam does 42 to 50. Oh, that's cutting it really close. That is cut. If he gets two high rolls, he can take us out. And if he has Bullet Punch on his Metagross. I only have one choice. What is my one choice? He doesn't know my spread. He doesn't know my spread. He don't. I'm trying to get the top of Fini up to a little bit more health, though, because once the top of Fini gets a little bit, a little bit more health, it can be, it'll be able to handle the, the, the Metagross a bit more. As we can actually outspeed and smart strike this thing, because we definitely do outspeed it. Hmm. Would a Smart Strike do more than a... Yeah, a Smart... Oh, no. Leaf Blade. We got Leaf Blade. Bye-bye. There's one very powerful threat gone. And now he's going to come out with his Volcanion rather than his Metagross. Rather than the Metagross. But do we want to keep this? Do we want to keep it?
No, let's get off some damage. Let's get off some damage. The most damage we can. As he goes for the flamethrower, gets the crit. Doesn't matter. Definitely doesn't matter. As he reveals the leftovers. What does Volcanion no normally run, though? Does, does it get access to Ice Beam? Does Volcanion get access to Ice Beam? Let's see. No, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it gets access to any offensive ice type move besides Hidden Power Ice. Hmm. And since he's running the leftovers, I highly doubt that he has speed investment. Um. Sorry about that. Someone just came in the room and I got distracted. Stop wasting my time. What? Okay, this guy is a bit rude. So, okay, let's let's just continue. Let's just continue. As he goes for the bolt punch, which is which is what I wanted him to do, so that he can take some rocky helmet damage, get some chip, and let's see, let's see. We don't lift the meteor mash, which is fine, which is fine. But does he have the bullet punch though? Yes, he does. He already revealed it. Okay. Hmm. Do we go down to a meteor mash? I'm pretty sure we do. I'm pretty sure we do. Go down to a meteor mash plus a plus a bullet punch. Salamence. Meteor Mash, Bolt Punch. Yeah, we do. So let's just Earthquake get the damage that we can. As he does have the Ice Punch. Okay. Okay. And he is not going to get a GG because he was an asshole. But let's go find another one because I do like to get more than one battle in these lives. And as you see, we're going up against a stall team. He's definitely going to lead the, the Doug Trio. Definitely going to lead the Doug Trio. So let's actually lead with our our Landorus as he leads with the Sableye. Okay, and he's probably gonna Will-O-Wisp, probably gonna Will-O-Wisp or something. So let's go out into our Topofini. Can already tell this is gonna be a longer battle as he knocks off our Life Orb. He knocks off our Life Life Orb, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with that. If we do set up, though, can we? No, because he has a to Toxapex, which can take anything that our Tapufini wants to do. But I do feel like he's going to bring in the said... No, he'd more likely bring in the Toxapex than the Skarmory. So we can just switch out, to be honest. We can do that. And he's probably Shed, shed Shell on his Skarmory. Okay. Let's go to our, go back to our Landorus, as he goes for his Protect. And this time we're just going to Earthquake. Just going to Earthquake. We don't mind, we don't mind. As he, he's going to go for the Recover here, as he doesn't. Wait, what? Oh yeah, he's Magic Bounce, okay. I forgot he loses Prankster. So let's go for the U-turn, as he's probably going to go for another, another Recover. And we're just going to go for the Moonblast this time. But it seems like he doesn't have the Will-O-Wisp, so... We don't have to worry too much about, like, on our phys- Oh, as he does have the Will-O-Wisp, okay. Um, he should have gone for Will-O-Wisp against our Landorus. It wasn't on the ground, so... He could have done so. As Misty Train only affects Mons that are on the ground. Sorry about that right-click right there. And we are going to go out... We're going to go back out into our Landorus, as these are the only mods that we're needing right now. Skull's going to do a little bit. Don't burn. Thank you. And I'm not going to go for the, the rocks. I'm not going to go for the rocks, no matter how much I want to. I'm not going to go for them, because I do feel like he's going to switch back into his Sableye here. Well, actually... What's his Sableye at? It's not letting me see what it's at. Um... I don't remember what it was at, unfortunately. But he does go into his Clefable, which means we're gonna get up our rocks here. Gonna get up our rocks. And we're gonna U-turn. 
Doesn't matter what he switches out into. We're gonna U-turn here. If he decides to stay in, he decides to stay stay in. We'll go go out into something as he does go out into our sable, his sable eye, and we don't get the kill, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we don't. But we can go out into our Tapu Fini once again. As the wish is gonna heal a lot. But how much did our Moonblast do to him last time? It did 61. So let's go for a Calm Mind. He's gonna go into his oh his, into his Chansey. Okay. So we're gonna go for a Calm Mind. As we can't really stay in on this, as as we are burned and we don't have our leftovers anymore, so we lost all of our recovery. It sucks that we're using a special Firmosa this time around, but what can you do, right? Um, what can this thing really realistically do? It can go for the rocks. It can go for the rocks, and it can... Toxic... I'm gonna guess it's like Toxic, Stealth Rock, Soft Boiled, and then Seismic Toss, or Wish. So let's call mine one more time and then see what he goes for. As he goes for his own rocks, okay. I didn't even turn the timer on. Let's go for the Moon Blast now. We're at plus two. And he's probably gonna go for the... The Toxic Spikes here. He went for the Scald last time, but I'm not fearing that at all. As we're gonna call mine... And he goes for Haze, okay. Okay, so we're gonna defog. And then go out back into our Landris. Um, I can see the th why Doug Drew is being suspect tested now. Because with this team, it does get a bit scary. But it's a good thing that we have two Mons that are off the ground. We have two Mons that are off the ground. Don't have to worry about his Arena Trap. And I kind of want to go to Magnezone, but that's when the Doug Tree would come in. So let's go out into our Agrabah again. Our Landorus. As he does for, go for the Skull, please don't get the burn. Fuck, he gets the burn. Okay. And we're just going to get our rocks up again. He's going to go into his Clefable. thought he was going to go into his Chansey. His Chansey was his rocker, right? Yeah, it was. Okay. So let's switch out. And he, oh, this clay will can have the flamethrower fire blast. We're gonna go out into our our magnezone. And he can go for the fire blast, but he would be fearing the flash cannon as well. So this is when his Doug Trio can come in. This is when the Doug Trio can come in. Now, do I want to predict the Doug Trio, or do I want to predict? him to stay in flamethrower. How much does a flash cannon do to a Doug Trio? Doug Trio, Focus Sash Trapper, Magnezone, let's just put Scarf, but we are modest, not timid. Flash cannon, Ken Oko. So we're just gonna go for the flash cannon. After Ox, it would definitely take it out. As he does go to his Chansey, so he's going to go for his own rocks. But we're going to Volt Switch. Um, I had no... He had no reason to go out into his Doug Trio there. No reason at all. Now, do we go out into... Do we go out into our Salamence? Or our Kartana? I do kind of want to go out into the Kartana. We can get a couple Swords Dances up and then probably be able to take out the Toxapex. And if we can take out the Toxapex, then we don't have to worry about anything on his team. Well, except the, the Skarmory, but I feel like Sacred Sword at like plus two or plus four would do a decent amount. We're going to go into the Salamence and start setting up. I would do that, but, our, but his Skarmory does completely wall us. I have to play, like, I can't be, keep playing defensive and let him wh whittle down our team. Gotta go for the hard offense with this and make these predictions, or else he's just gonna slowly whittle down our team and we're not gonna be able to do anything. As he does go straight into the Skarmory. He does go straight into the Skarmory. Which I don't think can 2 it KO us. Like, a defensive Skarmory definitely can't KO us. Kartana... And let's 
put this stuff back to the way it was. Put it at plus two. Uh, timid. Put this all the way up. This there. And Skarmory. Let's say he's fully physically defensive. Sacred Sword does absolutely nothing. What if we were to get to plus four? If we get to plus four, four we can potentially two shot, and he doesn't. Ooh, as he goes through the whirlwind. Okay. So we're just gonna focus blast. So our opponent has disconnected. Um, they have disconnected. Hopefully they get back in time so we can finish the, the rest of the battle. Hopefully they do. Because I do want to see if we can get around this team. I do. I know a lot of people don't like fight facing, facing stall. I also don't like facing stall. But I do want to see if with this team and if I've grown enough as a battler to get around this. Because... Um, I will ne never will I claim to be the greatest battler. I know I'm not. I know I'm not that great. I know I'm not the greatest team builder either. I do this for fun. And I do get a little competitive, but mostly it's just for fun. But it'd be good to see if I can get around this, like for a personal accomplishment, you know? But it does look like our opponent is going to fully time out, which is unfortunate. And oh, also the rating for this account, I'm not super high. Or not super low either. I think I'm at like 13 something. I might be at 14 something after this. Um, no, 1388. Okay. Which I know is somewhat low, I think. I don't know what high is on here. But let's see. What? I didn't even look at what our recording time is at. I did not. <laughs> Let me just double check that. Um, we are at 27 minutes. So yeah, even though our opponent did did rage not rage quit they disconnected that last one we're gonna wrap it up here because i do want to keep these at only a half hour um unless like two three battles however many we can fit into a half hour but if we start one before then whatever it carries over that's okay but we ended just before half hour so we're gonna end it off here um we got one win one loss um uh, but we oh that first game we could have had it if we like if we got salamence in earlier and set up i should have brought the salamence in against the Volcarona. Not Volcarona, sorry, the Volcanion. But Mega Metagross is such a problem. It is. It's such a problem. It's too fast and too strong. But anyway, we're going to wrap up the video here. Make sure you like the like button down below for me if you enjoyed. And comment below, giving me some feedback. Let me know what you think about this team. Um, I really like it. Um, one thing, I, of course, as I pointed out before, it is, it does have trouble with Mega Metagross. Um, I haven't noticed anything else that it has, like, an insane problem with. Uh, at least so far but if you know if you notice any glaring weaknesses please make sure to let me know and then also make sure you subscribe if you want to stay updated for the next video we have a lot of stuff coming to the channel i'm trying to i'm finally getting on a set schedule and i think i'll upload an update video or something about that at some point but for now um we'll just keep going the way we are and anyways have yourselves all a good day and i'll see you guys all next time